Hello. Hello, hello, folks. Please let me know in the chat how the sound is before I get too excited that we started on time. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my, my lovely home. And on. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. Let's go. We're getting a bunch of hellos and let's go. Sounds good. Sounds great. That's good news for me. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> my name is James Penka. I do have a special little tag for myself here. My name is James Penka, creative director of VDR, THG, uh, Project 401, all the things that we do over here. Um, and hello from Sweden. Hello, Sweden. Uh, how are you, James? I'm good. Nice wall picture. Thank you. Uh, I put it up as anybody who was in our stream yesterday knows. I put it up yesterday, or I put it up today, uh, well, yesterday, because uh, that wasn't there yesterday on our stream. I just, during our stream, I thought that wall is blank. I need to put something on it. Um, okay, uh, Titanic Book Club, hi, has stereo on uh, your computer and TV. Amazing. Sounds great. Uh, congrats on the speaker series in Orlando. Thank you so much. We're very excited about the speaker series in Orlando. I should put you guys over here so I'm not... Um, looking uh, on the wrong side here. Um, yes, excited about this update. Titanic Book Club says, greetings from Germany. People says, greeting from Prague, from Portugal. Oh my gosh, you guys are coming from everywhere. Hi from Alaska. Hi, E-Man from Alaska. Top of the afternoon to you. Amazing, guys, this is great. I'm loving all the, <laughs> all the different countries. This is fun. We don't usually do that. Hello from Scranton. Hello from the UK. Everybody tell me, Tell me where you are. This is fun. Um, I am in uh, California. Pardon my movement of the camera. Uh, uh, there we go. Just moving things around so I have my computer on a better on a better side of things here. There we go. Now I can sort of look at you while we do this. And is my computer in the way? No, it's not. Great. Hello from France, England, Chicago, Australia, Belfast. I think I saw Liberty. Liberty City, someone said. Yes, from Liberty City. Amazing. From Florida, from Mexico. This is great. Hi, everybody. It's really nice to see um, so many people here. Let's do this. Oh, there we go. That fixed a lot of problems. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, let me get rid of this. Um, welcome to um, our uh, first live stream Let's Play of the new update for Demo 401. Um, I, I'm so glad you're here. There's almost 500 of you here. How spectacular. Um, as I said, my name is James Penka. Um, we are hard at work over here. Um, and when I say hard at work, I cannot describe to you the amount of, of craziness that we've been going through, um, in this month of April. And it's only the sixth. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, we are, as you, you may know, we are in the middle of our um, month to remember. I will show all the events here. Um, so we are in our a month to remember. As you can see, we're still in the first row of events. We have so much going on this month um, surrounding all of our projects and uh, our animations uh, that are just so incredible. Um, uh, so today is April 6th. We're doing this Let's uh, let's Play live stream. Um, in a couple days, we're doing um, a, uh, there's going to be a new video out uh, about um, our real-time syncings. On the 9th, we're going to do another one of these with another special guest with um, uh, your friend, Mike Brady. Uh, on the 10th, we have a new animation. On the 10th, we have a new crazy, crazy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this down to say this. We have a crazy announcement on the 10th. Very excited about, about that. Um, we are releasing this update um, on the 11th. Um, we have, and then that gets us into Orlando, which um, I'll talk a bit about. Um, but uh, if, if anyone hasn't noticed, ev pretty much every event on the month to remember schedule is, uh, it coincides with a moment in Titanic's uh, history. So for example, we are releasing this demo um, at the apparent minute that Titanic uh, began her transatlantic voyage to New York, um, when it passed the the spot where they officially started transatlantic voyages, um, 
And uh, this one we're just doing at 401 because 401. And I think we've always done these streams at 401, which is kind of fun. Um, I'll talk briefly about Orlando. We'll get our special guest in here, uh, our, our guest for the day. Uh, and then we're going to hop into this demo. I don't want to waste too much time. Um, uh, we're going to talk about what's new in this demo. Um, but I already see, uh, I saw in the chat people like um, uh, thinking about what could possibly be in the demo with this uh, in this update. We have we have been very uh, transparent about what's in the demo. So if if you if you've been following along, you should know the the details about what what our focus was for this. Um, uh, so uh, uh, so yes, okay. Just checking the the chat. So um, just about Orlando really quick. Um, myself and uh, and Matthew DeWinkler, who um, is our uh, executive producer, we will be in Orlando uh, from the 12th to the 15th um, doing uh, the uh, RMS Titanic Incorporated speaker series at the Titanic Artifact Exhibit in Orlando. Um, on the 12th, we will be doing a lecture all about our projects, THG, Project 401, stuff like that. We're going to show off some stuff that people haven't really seen. Um, uh, nothing like groundbreaking, but uh, and at least things we'll show you in the, the days following. But uh, but you can get uh, online tickets for that or in-person tickets for that if you're in Orlando. Um, then there's speaker events all week, all, all, that, that whole time, the whole weekend. Um, one I'm really excited about, uh, Louis Abernathy, who played Louis Bodine in the uh, 1997 film. He's doing a talk, so I'm excited to meet him and, uh, and, and hear his, his side of things. Um, the, uh, then on the 14th, of course, the big day, we have an incredible sequence of events set up. We are doing a live event from the Artifact Exhibit. Um, that starts at 1030, which is 10 minutes before the iceberg collision, if you factor in daylight savings time. Um, so uh, we will be do we will be watching our brand new real time syncing that um, Jack is finishing up as we speak. We were working on the text this morning and it looks so good. There are so many interior syncing scenes. It's very, very fun. Um, that will be uh, that will be a, a live event where we will watch the live stream. We will watch the the real time syncing. I will talk about it. Um, oh, let me let me pull this up. I think we got our first we got our first super chat, and we always get a super chat from Ray Purchase every every stream. Ray is a big big supporter, big fan. Thank you, Ray. Uh, greatly appreciate um, your support. Um, so uh, so yes. Um, uh, we will be, uh, we'll watch the stream, we'll, we'll watch the real time syncing, and we will have a, a stream on YouTube just like this one where you can also watch. Um, so you don't have to be there in person for it. But what's fun is if you watch on YouTube, we're going to do like a pre show and a post show. The, the stream starts at nine o'clock and it's going to go till God knows when. So join um, at, ni at nine on this YouTube channel where um, Kyle, Jack, who made the animation, and, and others will be um uh we'll be talking for uh, an hour and a half and then we will throw it over to me and matt at in orlando and the sinking will begin um it's going to be really 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 uh, uh, a special way to spend the sinking and then um and then we do have more events to follow orlando but right now all i'm thinking about is is orlando because there's so much to do we have so much prep to do and i'm i'm having a great time doing it um dennis sent us super chat thank you very much dennis very very kind of you um so with that in mind um we have a we have actually a, uh, two things to announce today one thing i'm going to wait for derek to um to announce i'm going to bring him out in one second um but one thing I'll, I'll announce right now, we haven't really announced this yet. Um, I think I'm going to post something about it tomorrow officially, but you guys will be the first to know. We have three special guests for our real-time syncing event. Um, one of them uh, will be your friend, Mike Brady from Ocean Liner Designs. He will be joining us about uh, around uh, 1 a.m. in Titanic time, so about midnight, um, I think. He will be doing, uh, uh, he'll be, joining us for a little bit. But our other two guests that will join for pieces and parts of the singing, they're not gonna sit with us the whole time. Um, I don't wanna do like a, a big open table discussion with um, you know all three of us at once. 
four of us, I guess. So um, they will come in one at a time and we'll just have a nice chat with them. The other, so it'll be Mike Brady and the other two guests um, will be David Gallo and Rory Golden. They are two absolute legends in terms of diving to Titanic. They are, um, they've been to Titanic. They've seen Titanic with their own two eyes. Rory Golden has an incredible story of being the person who saw um, Titanic's uh, helm in the water or in the, in the sand and recovering it. And he was the first to touch it um, ever since uh, that fateful night. So um, these guys have, uh, oh, and then, and David Gallo has one of the most watched Ted talks on YouTube about diving. Um, they're both incredibly insightful and, and, and wonderful people. I met them both last year at the speaker series. So um, definitely tune in. It's going to be so fun. And, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Last thing I got to say, uh, while I put a, a huge super chat from this individual, is, I can't even say the name. Um, <laughs> I don't want to butcher it, but, um, a super chat, love the project, uh, 50 euro. That's very, very kind. Thank you so much. Um, last thing I'll, I'll say, and then we'll get Derek out here and we'll start having actual fun. Um, we announced yesterday, if you didn't see, uh, the, um, we announced yesterday that, uh, we are partnering with RMS Titanic Incorporated, who we've been working with all year to dive, uh, to, to join their, uh, expedition to the rec site that they're planning. Um, it, their upcoming expedition, it's just going to be research focused. It's just going to be imaging, you know, cameras, taking photos, videos, um, nothing is uh, being recovered. It's just um, to document um, the, the wreck. They haven't been down there in quite a long time. It's been like over a decade, I think, since their last, you know, uh, their last dive down there. Um, and so uh, we will be helping in that um, we have a, a great team of Titanic minds and and a great uh, just group of researchers and Titanic enthusiasts who um, who know a lot. And so we're going to um, assist in any way we can. And one way that we're going, uh, that we are assisting is we are submitting a list of recommendations and, and whatever to, uh, to the team to potentially look into. And so what that would mean, as I put uh, cats and ships, $10 super chat, thank you so much. Um, as I put um, uh, that up, um, what, what that will do for us, um, uh, submitting recommendations to RMST, um, these are things that we want to see for our work. So if there is a part of Titanic that we want to recreate that we've always been sort of guessing about because no one really knows what this looks like or what that looks like, um, we can ask them, could you swing by this part of the wreck and get a really good shot of this object? Because we are we really want to know how it's uh, constructed. Um, and so we can we can have that sort of discussion with them. And to open it up to our community, we asked RMST, could we ask our fans what they would want to see? And so um, they said, sure. So we will be announcing on our live stream on the 14th um, how you can submit your ideas to us um, and if we like your idea, we'll keep you in the loop. We'll be like, oh my gosh, we love your idea. We're going to submit it to the team. If they pick it, if they want to do it, if they have time, we may be able to answer some questions for you, which is pretty cool. So anyway, that's enough of that. That's enough announcements um, for uh, the time being. Um, so I'm going to bring in Derek. The, there we go. Okay. I think, we're, I think it's time to bring in Derek. Would you guys like to see Derek? Let's do it. Hold on here. Let me do this and then bring in. Boo, boo. There we go. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm not too bad. Look at this. How's everybody? Eric Revere. I've got a little thing for a little uh, text. It's on the wrong side of the screen. I know. But... It's on the wrong side. And I'm also <laughs> uh, not quite in the shot anymore. Um, but this is Derek Revere. Derek, how are you doing? Um, excited. I'm doing great. Um, yeah, it's finally. It's finally time. happy. It's finally time. It's finally how time. how many hours have you put into this this uh, um, this update? Right. Um, I think it's a good thing I didn't keep track of that because um, it's way too many. Um, right. Yeah. I mean, it, it's literally been working on this for for months and months and months. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, it's incredible. You know, and I'm lots of roadblocks at... along the way, and yeah. uh, you know, of course, uh, um, as we do in THG, um, this ended up being a little bit of a snowball. Um, we didn't add to, we didn't add anything. There's no new spaces, um, but um, there were some new features added, and and we ended up rebaking the lighting a couple of times, um, and just in general improving everything but yeah it's going to be in the order of thousands of hours for sure yeah absolutely so. i'm i'm looking at the the list you just sent me you sent me the change log so everything yeah. everything that we that has that has changed and this list is uh, this is this massive. is nowhere near expansive um like this list um even since yesterday i removed about like 20 items off the list because they were extremely like there were some things in there that just really detailed, like I removed this collision in this room. Um, and, uh, you know, I felt that de level of detail wasn't uh, necessary, but, um, right. you know, there's probably like in the order of hundreds of individual fixes yeah, applied. So, absolutely. Um, the thanks to the QA team, like we've had people just, running around the demo for hours and hours and hours bumping it into walls trying to find problem uh spots and things so right that's yeah super awesome so um when we get into it i'll i'm gonna ask you what um what are like the big the, the big things because i know one um music related one that's like kind of a significant thing that people can look forward to um but before Do we have some way share sharing this list by the way oh yeah yeah we can uh so yeah. so this list is going to be in um uh so the new demo has an installer um yes. and at Which the end of the installer <laughs> yeah at the end of the installer it'll give you the option to open the change log um it, it comes with the files so anybody can look at the change log or it's going to be posted on the site too um when uh uh once that's once the update's been released so um but yeah i mean yeah can we share that list somehow like uh we could put it on our discord we could put it in the chat a link to it? no we can't um probably too long to put in the chat um if you download that file that i sent you sure. can you screen share that you have to click oh yeah 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 I'll, I, that's bottom, a good right? idea i can i can do yeah. that and people can take we a can look just at look it. at it real quick sure that's a good idea um but yes, we uh, we're about to hop in, and we can talk more detailed about it. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's go to a. Oh, I'll have to. Well, I mean, I guess let's start with probably the, what's the biggest thing for most people is um, we have music now. So, yes, that's pretty um, massive. Here we. Yeah. So. Go. Um, Screen share. Okay, it is oh up boy. on the screen. These are these are the changes uh, for the demo. Um, and again, as as Derek mentioned, not quite every single thing that was changed, but no, nowhere uh, near. <laughs> yeah, I think so, at some point I just stopped um, writing down the the little things. Yeah, and then um, I think I think the big things for most people will be. Um, the second item on the list that you can listen to music will I'll show you that and you can skip the songs. It really does add a lot to the experience to just listen to the, the music of the time that we have had recorded. Um, uh, let's see. And then uh, one of the things that's big for me that I love personally is you've rearranged what the levels are. So you've moved certain rooms that were in one level and you connected them to a different level. So it makes a little bit more sense, and it uh, it just streamlines everything. Uh, it it yeah. removed a few loading points, so we don't need as many waiting right. times. Yeah, um, yeah. I think uh, part of what was going on was um, like the previous version. The level splits were done in a way um, to be, it was for performance reasons. Um, the levels were were too big, essentially. Yeah. Um, in this version, it's been optimized to a point where that was no longer necessary. Um, and so I believe in first class, yeah, the baths are back into the main level. Um, you can still spawn there. Like it's still a, a, 
an option in the menu to spawn there, even though it's not a separate level anymore. Um, and then uh, we added the uh, the boilers. Is, yeah, the boilers in the forward crew level is is all together, which is really neat um, because you can essentially take the walk that many workers would have done on the actual ship, uh, where you know they went from their this forward spaces uh, where their berths were um, to their workplace, which is, uh, you know, the boiler rooms. Um, so now you can do that walk without having to go through a loading screen. Um, and then I believe the only other one was, yeah, we moved the linen room to the third class level. So we just, which took I, that love. From the... I, yeah. I love. Yeah. That it's um, that now instead of you're in the Turkish bath and you can just walk right into a crew space and then when you get up to Scotland Road, you have to load into Scotland Road. It makes way more sense that the crew space is part of Scotland Road, and then you mm -hmm. load into Turkish Bath, which is now yeah. first class. So it it's it all makes a, a, a lot more sense. Uh, yeah, and then the, the next uh, option is actually a kind of a favorite of mine um, because uh, you know I've I've sort of been pulled in multiple directions because some people like the lighting where you can see through the windows really easily. Um, some people like a more bloomy effect where, um, you know, you look at, at a bright window and it's just, it, there's a, a large amount of contrast. Um, so this, I, I, I just said, um, uh, you know, why not give people the, the choice? And so, uh, you, there's a lighting contrast setting now and, um, uh, so you can set it to low, medium or high and and it just essentially changes we, we should demonstrate i think it'd be pretty neat but, yeah yeah we'll um, we'll show that off yeah um, it, it essentially changes um the the amount of contrast you have in the lighting so bright areas are brighter in in high contrast um and dark areas are darker and then if you're in low contrast everything everything dark comes up and everything light comes down so, so it's a more uh, even experience i'm a big fan of the the bloomy uh crazy differences in, in yeah. lighting i think it i think that's what makes it so realistic and that's kind of what it was right and now you've kind of like from a camera yeah, that's it's yeah. more or less what a camera would see um it, the human eye of course has a, a much wider dynamic range yeah so um the human eye obviously would see that um now without getting into the weeds because it, that ex exists for you know it's very technical uh, high dynamic range sort of re uh, reason. Um, in Project 4.1, the goal would be to add proper HDR support. Um, so I have a new monitor. It's it's a really fancy um, OLED monitor that can get insanely bright. Um, and right now the demo doesn't really support HDR, um, but we're 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 looking to to add that for project for one so that you you can actually see th the really bright parts and the really dark parts at the same time on the same screen. Cool. So th that'll be really neat. Well, bef in, uh, should should we hop in and we can talk more sure. about these? Things yeah, everything else here is. is I, pretty, I will point uh, out my my favorite one on here is the we we do have one known issue at the moment that people somebody some guy someone some guy <laughs> as I don't know who they've they've dropped a whole bunch of potatoes all over the place. Yeah, classic so, yeah. classic guy. He always he's always doing that. Um, all right, cool. I'm gonna exit out of this we have this up and running um and and some might say that um we'll, we'll talk about this later but um if you somebody finds enough of them there may be a reward oh okay so. interesting is that something we will do through discord i, I suppose yeah we'll yeah. we'll We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Okay, sounds. I, good. I think we did some something similar for an earlier version of the demo, but uh, yes, we'll do it right. again. Cool. And now, now there's way more, so it, it'll be fun. Yeah, sixty six. And for those of you who didn't do the potato hunt last time, Derek hides them extreme. Or I mean, the guy, some guy who took all. Yeah, potatoes. I didn't do that. I, sorry, not you. Some guy who took all these potatoes hides them extremely well. Um, before we go into the demo, obviously, nope, not this person, this person got a shout out Larry Faye, a hundred dollars. Thank you so much 
for the support. Um, incredible. And, and then Jake as well. Uh, Jake has a question for Mike Brady. Can RMS Olympic be in, in Grand Voyage? I uh, will have to ask him. You'll have to come back. Uh, uh, you'll have to come back next, uh, next stream because he will be our guest there. Okay, let's do it. Um, I'm going to pop this open. Now, the sound of, of this all. Um, where did the sound? Oh, I had a sound thing. I could, I could change the, oh, I know what's wrong. Sorry. Let me, uh, let me try this again. I have to turn the sound on because there's, uh, we, we have some soundy things to mess with this time. So share screen, pardon all of this. Also share volume and we are in. And, and uh, apologies to anybody if I, I uh, oh, uh, I'm, coming I'm coming through, through twice, twice I, think. I think. Oh, are you? Oh, that would make sense. Oh, um, how do I stop that from happening? Because you are, mm, so you or, are coming no, through. No, um, I, wait, can anybody, can anybody else, else hear me twice or, or am I just hearing myself? I bet, I bet you can be heard twice because you're coming through the system, but you're also in here, which is sharing the sound with the demo so what i could do really quickly um because i want to turn the sound off anyway so we can talk how about i show off the music really quick and then we will i'll cut the music out and then we can you you i can turn the the thing off and then you won't be heard anymore sound good cool <laughs> yeah nice okay cool so we should um be able to hop in hopefully people will hear the music i'll show you how the music works and what a big difference it makes and then i'll i'll get rid of music because we want to be able to talk um uh and and derek has a, an announcement to make once he comes back in so uh people where should we start i need to know um which which boarding point we should start at um and we got a uh while we wait for where we should start we got another super chat from falco niner Hope this covers the potatoes. My bad. <laughs> That's great. Um, all right. The the uh, we're getting some second class. We got a, the first one was a first class. We got second class, B deck, first class, officers, engine room. So far, second class is winning. Promenade. Officers only. All right. Let's do. Um, we'll do. We'll start at uh, officers only. That sounds good. All right. So. There we go. Hopefully you folks can hear all of that. That's happening right now. In fact, because we have the music, actually, I feel like we should uh, we should go into first class. Makes more sense to have the first class music in, in first class. Um, and let me know, everybody in the in the chat here, if you can uh, hear it all. Great music. OK, cool. So yes, now when you wander about Titanic, you will have very well recorded music. Um, uh, in fact, Matt should, um, if Matt's watching, or uh, Derek, if you could message Matt um, for the the name of, of the gentleman who's been doing this for us. In fact, you might know, because it, um, it would be nice to give him a little shout out because it's just incredible. Um, and what's fun is, as you will see in the in the controls, you can press M and skip to the next song. Sorry, my camera turned off. So yeah, pretty uh, a, a huge improvement. I I spent a little time this morning walking around the ship, and just to have music and it's like has a nice reverb and a nice echo um it's it's incredible oh yes that is the hold on i'm gonna put that on the screen real quick and of course i can't do it while the music is playing but one moment where did it go and you guys comment really fast that comment just disappeared what i just saw the name and it was taken down off the, there it is. Let's put him up. There we go. Uh, 
And let's see what other songs we got going. A classic. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Um, Derek says he can't hear the music, but everybody else seems to be able to based on, uh, yeah, based on everyone's reactions. All right, let's listen to, let's see what else is on here and then we will get Derek back in. Oh boy. You guys, this is a crazy experience. I like, I didn't, I didn't know that this song was in the playlist. This is, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Nearer My God to Thee. I know it sounds different from the Nearer My God to Thee from the film. Um, it's very similar, um, but um, there are multiple versions of the hymn. And so this is the one that I think people mostly believe was played. If, if it was played, this would be the arrangement. This is the kind of the melody that would be used. There's like an American version and a British version. And in my memory, the American version is the one that's played in the film. And this one we're listening to is the more like Britishy version. Um, people in the chat are giving all the history of it. So thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Before we all. Oh. Special, very special. Before we all start crying, though, um, let me. Uh, let me turn the sound off a little bit. Okay. Um, Derek, you should be able to talk and not be echoed, I believe. Hello, hello. How does this how, sound? It sounds good to me, but you weren't echoey to me the first time because... Okay. Well, I haven't heard myself in the restream thing, so it's probably good. Oh. Well, they, the music's still playing... Hmm, let me do this. Is it? It was still playing for me. Yeah, well, it should be for you. It's fine. It's oh, that's right. It's not be picked up, right? Okay, so what I what I need to do yep. is turn the music off for me. Sorry, folks. I am not a technical whiz about this sort of thing. Okay, we are in um, <laughs> sound settings. Thank you, Kyle. Um, all right, folks, so you should um, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit. Um, Derek, we before we explore this demo, we do have a little announcement um, about this demo in regards to today. Uh, take it away. Yeah, well, um, without further ado, um, if you are an officer on Patreon, um, Right now, as I speak, the link is being po uh, posted on Patreon. You can download this right now and play it right now. Let's go. So Now, to our officers who are rushing to their uh, Patreon links and, and to, uh, to download this, um, this demo five days early, um, a friendly reminder you can nothing is stopping you from just sharing the link with whoever you want but we encourage you to remember that you are super generous and 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 are, are an officer for a reason and and we so greatly appreciate it and so out of respect for your fellow officers uh, don't share it with everybody you know don't share it with friends who uh, you know they can wait 5 days they'll get it all right um, sounds good. Um, okay. And if you're not an officer, you can go to patreon.com slash Titanic HG and oh, yeah, sign that. up. In fact, you know what I can do? That's really fun. Um, check this out. Boom. On the screen is a QR code to become a patron. Um, and if you uh, donate $50 a month, that is our uh, highest tier. For officers, you could you can download this today if you want, um, but it'll also be out for free in about uh, five days, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It'll be out on the eleventh, um, so uh, you can also just chill for a minute. Um, okay, enough enough of all this. Let's let's take a look around. Um, so, 
already already five people have uh, scanned the QR code. How awesome is that? So, folks, we are standing in the uh, uh, most famous staircase in shipping history. Is it the most famous staircase in staircase history? Potentially. I can't think of another staircase that is this famous, but um, we are in the first class grand stairs with, of course, honor and glory crowning time, the namesake uh, of our of our company. Um, so let's, uh, let's, uh, well, we can explore the boat deck first. We'll start at the top and move our way through. Um, so, uh, right now I have this on the like default settings. So whatever Derek set as the default in terms of the lighting and all of that, we can, we can mess with that and have a little bit of fun. Um, but, uh, um, we can mess with that a bit, but, uh, the only thing I changed, uh, is, uh, V-Sync. Derek, you'd have to tell people what, what that is and why I changed it because, uh, uh screen tearing, screen, screen tearing. Yeah. yeah. You might have to explain that one to me even, cause I don't know why I do that. Well, well, it, it looks like your screen splits in half when you do that, when it's off. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay, let me get rid of, I just realized that I've left um, this on. Hide message. Okay. Back to the fun. So we're in the gymnasium, of course. Um, we can run. We can we can crouch. I don't know why your, your mouse is being captured for some reason. But... Oh, is it on screen? Oh, it is, yeah. Do you see that, or is it I don't? On... I don't see it. Uh, I see it on the stream, but I do not see it on my um, hmm. on the game itself. I don't. Uh, That's strange. I don't know. Yeah, very annoying. I apologize. Uh, maybe there's a way to get rid of that because that's that's terribly annoying. Can you check your. Um, uh, is it full screen or windowed full screen? It is full screen, I think. But I can check. Let's see. Let's go because it's in here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. display windowed mode. You could, yeah, you could try changing it to full screen and see if that helps. Okay. Uh, no, you gotta, there's oh. a button. Oh, damn it. One second. Gotcha. That's, so that's full screen, bottom. apply resolution and window mode. Yes. Okay. Let's Resume. That, ah. No, that did not help. Okay. That did not help. Um, what I can oh, do. Somebody's saying it's a setting in. It might be a setting in Restream. Sure. I can also try one other thing. Um, give me. Uh, I'll. I'll give you guys a nice thing to look at. Um, you can look at this painting and look at how beautiful it is. One thing I can also try. Um, I actually have to take it away from you. One moment. I can share just the window because so i was sharing my whole screen let's see if that does any different boom hey it's gone All solution right. um wow who would have thought i would have solved the technical problem amazing um so um while i explore let's go out on deck and walk around a bit and while I do so, one thing that I'd like to talk about, um, uh, I'd like to talk about now because I hear, I see a lot of people talking about it in the chat and then we'll talk more about, um, uh, more about some of the changes to the demo. People are asking, is there a night mode? Is there uh, like, what has changed in terms of like features and stuff? Um, if you've been following the development of this, like we've been talking a lot about uh, this, this demo update is a, is more about, aside from the music, honestly, is more about um, optimization and, uh, and visual quality, cleaning things up. Um, when you see the, the stained glass, because I know the stained glass has been an issue and Derek, you can talk in a second all about like the, the big things that like you had to spend a lot of time on. Cause I think people find that very interesting that, um, that, uh, like stuff like stained glass is like impossible 
to make look good in a video game and you've you've managed it but um but in, in terms of a gameplay perspective like features and whatnot um throughout the demo you will find these posters that we made um for the last update um that show off uh everything that's coming to uh, Titanic Project 401, which is the full version of this demo. Um, we've uh, we've talked quite a bit about what those uh, features are going to be. I'm gonna be doing um, some videos in the month of May. That's my current plan is every week in May, I'm going to release a video um, to focus on uh, each individual feature that we're planning for Project 401. Uh, a lot of people here may have heard about, heard me talk about uh, SS Particulars, White Star Testimony, and Queens Island Photographs. Those are three features that I've been working on for literal years. And so I've talked a, a bit about them. Um, but there are some other features that I've been working on since that uh, we haven't quite talked too much about. So we're going to talk more about that. Um, one of them uh, deeply involves uh, RMS Titanic Incorporated and their uh, artifact collection, which is really cool. Um, but those are things that we are saving for uh, Project 401, including night mode, uh, sunset setting. Um, we've talked about, as a team, we've talked about what additional spaces would uh, appear in Project 401. Um, in the full version, while you know nothing is uh, finalized, uh, we we have a good idea of what we'd like to add, and and by add I mean like one or two spaces. We're not we're not going crazy here, um, though we've said that before. Um, you know, we we always tend to to snowball things. You know, you want to add this, and like oh well, let's add this little closet. Oh well, if we add the closet, we have to add this. You know, and just it goes a little crazy, but the end result is more titanic which is pretty cool yeah um yeah. so so yeah we do have a lot planned for project 401 um from a, a creative features standpoint um and all of that information can be found uh on the posters that you will find in this demo and when i see one i'll stop and i'll look at them um and on april 10th around the time Titanic, uh, I forget if it's departed or arrived at Cherbourg. Um, I want to say departed Cherbourg. Um, we will be announcing something Project 401 related that we have been cooking for quite a while. Um, a very, very cool uh, collaboration that will be very cool. If you are excited about Project 401, if you are excited about this demo, Definitely keep an eye out for our announcement on April 10th. Okay, we're in on the second class promenade. I'm going to start heading down through second class, going down the stairs. Derek, talk to us a little bit about... Um, oh, I'm, I'm supposed to check your messages. Oh, am I supposed to do something? Sorry. <laughs> uh, I, um, I don't oh, know. I think they are set to... Yeah. Are they set to cinematic? Let me check. If they are, you should turn them down. They're, they're on very high. Should I still okay. turn them down? Um, so yeah, I should talk about this briefly. Um, yes. Probably. Oh, and I see that DL DLSS says label instead of not supported, but it's, never mind. Um, I would suggest just turn the uh, um, let's try turn the TSR mode uh, on. Okay. There. Yeah, just leave it there. That might help. Um, James is only on a, uh, a GTX 1080. Um, so overall, the minimum requirements of this version of the demo are down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, now, to keep in mind, um, but the maximum quality is higher. So um, the the quality of the old version is approximately the same as if you turn this version to high um, on all on all the settings. Um, but it gets it lets you set it lower and significantly higher, like cinematic. Um, Cinematic is just cranks everything way up. Nice. Um, e even on my um, 3090 cinematic, um, it it runs. You know, I get like 90 FPS or something. Um, but James, if James did that, his computer would explode right now. <laughs> so, um, I guess I need a new computer. Is yeah, what, is what um, I'm hearing. But you know, if you have a 1080, like or a 10, probably even a 1070, it's going to work. Um, the the memory requirements are 
are way lower. Um, and the demo takes half the space on the uh, disc as it did before as well. So oh, that's great. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so I sh am I good now? Now that I've yeah, uh, just TSR let's mode? try this. Let's try this. What is what is TSR mode? Um, it's essentially an upscaling thing. So I should say uh, on my computer that I'm looking at, obviously you guys are watching a stream on my computer. It is as crystal clear as like, I, uh, that's I'm surprised that I had to do anything to my settings because it looked, it looks, yeah, so it might good. just be the stream. So, yeah, but... I mean, I, it is smooth as silk over here. Um, all right, we are heading down. Let me know if, if we want to mess with the uh, settings yeah. um, at all. Um, one of my favorite things about these demos that we've made, that Derek has made, is um, um, this is this is the time. This is my local time. It's 147 where I'm at in uh, California. So we got um, the time, the times, uh, the clocks on the ship reflect the time of your local area, which I think is just super fun i've literally checked the time by when i'm exploring the ship and i just need to know what time it is i don't want to look at a, a digital clock i just go find one um but we have found the second class smoke room my favorite space on the ship i absolutely love this room i think it is the most cozy but well-lit room i feel like if this was a room today in a nice like hotel or something people would really dig it um yeah the lighting is absolutely spectacular in fact there is a picture there's a screenshot of this room that is my go-to whenever someone's like what does the game look like like when i'm telling people what i do and people are like oh you should definitely show me some images from this game i, I always show them a screenshot from here and it makes their jaw drop it is spectacular um Let's head out on deck again. One thing I'd I'd love to add, and I'm gonna see if um, in Project Four One the one of the camera mode I'd like to add it if possible, and that's mm -hmm. a, a like a lighting view. I think I've shared some images before. That's like clay. It looks like clay. It's like a clay render where um, all the the color is just replaced with the lighting, and. Um, I love looking at spaces with that because it, it just just shows all the light. You you just see the how the lighting bounces and fills the space so much mm. so much better. All right, we're down another deck to the second class library. Um so what uh so what about now that we're we're exploring the ship a bit more. What about this demo was um, difficult or, um, oh wait, before before you do, we do have another super chat. I, I can't, um, let's see, I'll, I'll get, let's get outside and make something, show you something nice. Let's go look at the ocean. The ocean looks spectacular. So I can do a little shout out to a super chat we got from Chris Nicholson, who says, I spent three day walking around the RMS Titanic Inc. exhibit in Pittsburgh. It was cool to visit, but they should have used your team's animation instead of the old Discovery ones from the 90s. Funny you should say that, Chris. Thank you for the super chat. Um, one of the, if you've been to the Columbus artifact exhibit, which is not too far from Pittsburgh, um, we have replaced all the discovery animations with our animations we made some fresh like brand new animations just for rms titanic incorporated and we are going to start um implementing them in all their exhibits pittsburgh was the first e exhibit that we worked on with them and it just happened too quickly for us to be able to do uh, anything fun so um uh so yeah uh but yes we will absolutely be um implementing our work more with their stuff which we're we're very excited about oh here is uh, the poster i was talking about so um this is an awesome poster of course based off the actual um uh, titanic posters that they they used to have um, but this is project 401 i'll leave this on screen for a minute um okay a little closer um this is sort of our our fun advertisement for uh for project 401 
Um, it will have over 150 unique spaces, which this demo already has. We, this one's just for free. Um, again, it'll have uh, you know perhaps another space or two, some things that we just think are are missing slightly that we'd like to to throw in. Um, uh, and then these features down here, you can zoom in a little bit. Um, of course, VR is a is a major focus of ours. Nighttime and sunset settings. Um, we're working right now on a on creating deck plans. We have a programmer named Tyler who has been working super hard on these deck plans, which is very fun. Um, and he sends us his progress from time to time, you know, showing um, how you navigate the deck plans and stuff. And so uh, the deck plans are 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 doing well. Uh, full controller support. Uh, sound design is a big thing. Obviously, um, you guys walk around the ship and, and you want uh, the breeze in your hair. You want the engines rumbling. Um, we're working on that. If you want to see an example of that, we have a video on YouTube called, um, I think it's Cafe Parisian in Unreal Engine 5. And it's a little tour of the cafe with the sound design that we are uh, currently working on with a company called Andromeda Sound. And uh, you hear, you know, the wind, uh, the wind blowing through the windows of the cafe. You hear the, the uh, china on the shelves are rattling because th the whole ship is always vibrating. Um, I know that from my, my many, uh, many nights on a cruise ship, which is much larger than Titanic, but still you feel the vibration no matter where you are. Um, so the sound design is going to be pretty spectacular. Um, and then the historic features, and that is where, where my, my work comes in with these three features, uh, other additions to be announced. Um, we've talked a little bit about them since we made this poster, but they're going to involve passenger lists, um, which will integrate the information that you can find on Encyclopedia Titanica, which is, it should be everyone's favorite Titanic website. Um, and so uh, there'll be that. And then RMS Titanic Incorporated's artifacts will be involved in the game um, for you. And uh, and then uh, there's one one other uh, element that we're, we're still talking about that involves um, a, a little bit of water, but it's a, a it is a uh, um, very, very uh, simple experience that will give you, I, I think, a lot, uh, bring a lot of value to the project. Um, people always ask for a, a full sinking mode. I want to explore the whole ship while it sinks. That is not our goal with this uh, with this project. Um, so, uh, so yes, that is. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about with with uh, Project 401, but we will get to that. Um, we'll get to that soon. Next uh, next month, uh, we will talk a lot about that. And uh, we do on our schedule. Um, we do have, um, and in fact, I can. Um, I can do this and go full Titanic schedule. Um, scan the QR code, and um, we have a, a, a full a, a month to remember. Titanic month is happening right now, and one of the events on that is a full announcement of the the entire features list. It'll be um, a video, or no, it'll be a list. Sorry, it'll be a list. Um, maybe it'll be a video. I'm not sure, but it will. Uh, go a bit more in detail about what the features for Project 401 will be. And then in May, I will go in in depth videos about each feature. We have concepts of them already, so you can see what it looks like. It'll be fun. Uh, okay, so Derek. Um, I, now... I, I saw a question that I wanted to oh, address. Please. Yes, answer. Um, it was about uh, installing. Um, it's they, this person was having difficulty installing the, the previous version of the demo. Um, this version is a lot easier. Um, you still have to unzip it, uh, but then once you're in the folder, all it is, is there's a .exe that you run, and it will it it will walk you through the installation, and then it's installed on your computer like any other program. Um, you'll have a shortcut on your start menu, shortcut on your desktop. Uh, you can uninstall it like a normal program, um, and uh, yeah, makes it really easy to 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 run it and launch it so right now i'm looking at this this poster um which is you know one of our favorite things is a a, a lovely kyle map um kyle loves to make a good map um and this just shows off everything that you can explore uh, aboard titanic in demo 401 um and so everything that's red is stuff that you can actually like go to and see um 
it's looking like the the pink stuff is like the the lighter red is uh is like sort of things you can sort of see um from where you are in a way um at least in the engine room and so some of these stuff is like you can't explore that area so um anyway um and then you can see the level load points and skip points skip points are just a few places on the ship like right here where we have the second class entrance and the second class stairs but not the hallway between them so you can click a little button and go through the hallway and just hop through um it's close enough um, and then here's another one in first class. In fact, I'm pretty, are those the only two anyway? I think those are the only two, um, places that you can skip. Anyway, speaking of, let's keep on a moving. I'll show you one of those skip points in a second. Yes. Um, Derek, if you can keep an eye on the, uh, chat and, and chime in. Yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, you guys keep your questions coming. If yeah. Keep that, asking uh, questions. I can answer. Second class dining saloon. I think this is like pretty commonly everyone's like favorite dining saloon from what I've seen online. It's just, yeah. it's much more modern, like with what we would still enjoy. The first class dining saloon is just, it's too, it's too much. Too, now it's been much. so long, so I don't even remember, but at some point I added the, the 3D ceiling detail. Oh, sure. Yeah. I don't that. remember if that even happened. Is this in, does anybody know if that was in, 2.0 or, or I remember I I don't even know I don't even remember if that was added so this for is this version this, or the previous version this uh, ceiling is now 3d and before it was like a um like a flat shadowy like trick to make it look 3d is that right yeah yep yeah well there you go folks more authentic than ever um one of the other things you worked on quite a bit um were these mirrors that now the game has much more realistic looking mirrors yeah so um the the main thing i've done now is for any of these really uh well, mostly mirrors i've done it to some windows um i've essentially they're still static reflection captures but uh now they are manually captured and um applied just to that mirror so it used to be that an entire room for example would get one um one capture and then if you had a a mirror in that room it would use that capture um the problem is the point at where you capture the mirror um like it would stretch it because the capture would be in the center of the room um and the mirrors on the side so you got a really stretched and distorted mirror um, so this new version just just has better looking mirrors because the, the mirror capture is done right at the mirror and they're done in higher resolution. Um, I believe uh, all the reflection captures are twice as high as high res resolution, but I believe most of the mirrors are four times than what they were before. Mm. So the mirrors just just look better. Uh, we are down by the. Uh, purser's office uh, second class down in the second class cabins and whatnot um, lots of hallways with beautiful light shining through so this is one of those skip points like we don't have the hallway between here but you come up here you can head forward and here you are so it's like a it's not a loading point in that you don't have to sit here and wait for it to load or anything because it's the same level it's just yeah. a little a little quick skip. Um, it, th that's one of two locations on the ship that does that. Yeah, the um, other there, ones. There's the other ones at first class yeah. uh, E deck, I think. Same same level actually. Yeah, it's the same kind of straight hallway like this this hallway should go by the engine room and then through to where up oh, there goes my camera again. Um, through to where the first class um, skip point is. Um, people always ask, you know, why don't you put those hallways in? And, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about the limitations of the project and, and some of the issues that we've run into, which is why, uh, we have Kyle working on what is Titanic honor and glory, which is he's working on the steel structure and people, that's the thing people, <laughs> and I know they're different people, so I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't get too upset about it. Um, you know, some people will say, why don't you have the corridor here? Why do we have to jump? Well, it's because if there was a corridor here, the corridors wouldn't line up because of the way that 
everything was made. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, it was made like this room was made, then this room, then this room, then this room, and they just don't all line up. And so we need to leave a, a skip point like this because the hallways wouldn't line up. Meanwhile, with THG, people ask, why are you doing the structure with the steel that you're never going to see? And part of it is you are going to see it in that we use these these animations. We use these these images for so much more than the video game. I mean, um, imagine an RMS Titanic Incorporated exhibit with a whole animation of the ship being built and we have that steel work. So it's extremely valuable to what we do as a company. But in terms of the video game, I mean, you can see the steel here. These beams running through the ceiling, like that's not just decoration. Those are two steel beams that are holding up the deck above. And because it's second class, they get a nice wooden, um, you know, uh, joinery around it. And so, and in fact, there, you, you can literally see this. This is a perfect place to be for this lecture. Um, you can see the beams once they reach this part, suddenly you see the steel. And so, yeah, I mean, people always ask, why are you doing the steel? It, it's because the ship, the entire ship is steel. I mean, look at this, this area of the ship, you see rivets and frame, you know, plates, how they, they butt together. And then there's the beams. So by doing this, it, it creates the puzzle in a so much, such an easier, uh, easier way. Be like, sort of like when you're doing a jigsaw puzzle and everybody does the edges first because the edges are easy to find. And then once you have it, you have like this defined space where all the pieces go as well. It's just like, it's just a different way of approaching building a ship. Yeah. Or it's the, it's the right way. I mean, the way that, that this is done, as James said, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not we, actually possible for us to do 100% of the ship. Right. This is a perfect of, example. We literally cannot yeah. do this hallway unless we bent it and, and you know, it just yeah. wouldn't be, it wouldn't be correct. So um, I, I saw another question uh, from Titanic Book Club. Um, they asked, uh, is it possible to turn on closed captions for the hard of hearing? Um, so in Project 4.1, definitely, like, um, there's no dialogue in this, um, this version. This demo. Um, there will be, there will be voiceover in Project 4.1 and for there sure. will be, there will be demos as well. Or yeah. sorry, there will be subtitles for yeah. that, uh, voiceover. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, for this stream though, if that's what they're asking, I don't, um, I don't believe does uh, does youtube oh. do uh if you can you on youtube click I, on cash i believe it says it's unavailable so i don't know oh. I, I believe uh, youtube probably just doesn't do um actually i don't know why I, I yeah i'm not sure um interesting yeah um okay so we have seen all yeah i don't of... i don't know why um it's yeah I, I i don't know if that's a setting on our end or not but yeah i'm not sure either um, we're going to head into third class and this will be an even, uh, uh, better example of why the steel work of Titanic is so important because in third class, it's everywhere, every, you know, yes, this, this, these wooden walls, pardon my, uh, dog barking. Um, if you can hear that, um, and my wife is home, so I don't know why she's barking anyway, back to the game. Um, but like, and like here, like there's just so much, um, so much happening involving the steel in, in these areas of Titanic. And so to build them the way that Kyle is building them, building them, it, it makes, uh, it makes it possible to recreate the ship in the way that everybody wants us to. Um, this of course is the, these models were started 10 years ago, more than that. And so, uh, project 401 is, is. Um, sort of taking what we had and, and making the most out of them. Um, and and I think we're going to have a lot of fun once it's all all finished. Okay, let's go this way. Hmm. What else? Um, I saw somebody in the chat say, um, oh, here's another poster. Someone in the chat asked if Robin would make a return. Um, we get that question all the time. Uh, I'm going to head into a third class cabin over here. Lovely. And the the mirror is, is all fixed up. Um, and this, see this little blanket right there? I have it right here. 
<laughs> I'm sitting on it. Um, yes, uh, I get asked all the time if Robin will ever make a return. And I've, I've said, uh, I've answered this millions of times, but Robin was a creation of uh, uh, Thomas Linsky. And therefore, it is his uh, character to do with as he pleases. So we will not be, we will not be using Robin in any of our projects. Um, and I don't mind that one bit because as, as people should know, I never enjoy hearing my British accent. It's not good. Um, and so I always felt bad for, uh, actual British speaking people. <laughs> I feel like it's a terrible accent. So Robin is is uh, likely no more, um, but that's okay. That's a very fun, fun character, though. Um, all right, we are in the uh, third class general room. I'll, I'll let you look at this for a moment just to see. Um, someone's asked, um, are the notice signs on the stern red and white or black and white? This is a, a classic debate. Um, I actually don't think you can see them in this game, so I don't think we have to answer that question and be wrong. Um, although, I do have it right here. So I, I guess that answers your question. Um, third class general room. I love that third class. And here's here's more steel, by the way. And and also these pillars. This is all the steel work that, that Kyle is like, working on like these pillars are here for a reason um and to get the exact measurements down you know is super important and you might ask why did you guys not do this the first time why did you why would you build all of this and leave room for error like that well the big reason is we did not have access to titanic's steel uh, the olympic class um steel plans um what we did have access to was blurry and you know a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy. And it was pretty recently that we were able to get like really solid, clear um, uh, copies of the Olympic class iron plans. That's what they're called, iron plans. And so now we can actually like go in here and, and really uh, go for the accuracy. And that is what Kyle is doing. But instead of making you wait for that, um, we decided to take this work, which is spectacular. Um, it looks wonderful. Uh, if you took out a, a tape measure, you may find that these pillars are one inch farther apart than they should be. That sort of thing. Like we're talking about inches. We're not, it's not like we're way off, but, uh, it's certainly enough that it, uh, causes issues. Um, so yeah, it's all, uh, rather confusing. Demo 401, Titanic Honor and Glory, Vintage Digital Revival. Everyone calls us Titanic Honor and Glory, but our company name is Vintage Digital Revival, kind of like White Star Line, Oceanic Steam Navigation Company. Um, we are on the uh, aft well deck. I think the third class got the best uh, promenade of all. I would... For, I forget the other ones that to be on the poop deck. This is like, this is where you want to look at the ocean. It's spectacular out here. Oh, one other thing that um, we're working on for project 401 that you will not see here is a, a moving ship. Isn't that right, Derek? Yeah. So uh, um, you can see that also in um, the, uh, the project Four or the cafe demo video that's out yes there. oh that's right yeah go to yeah, youtube it, it gives a, a sneak peek not very many people uh in the comments of that had spotted it but i think since then we've we've uh, specifically um mentioned that feature so um it's it's t a trick technically the the water is moving but the ship is stationary mm. um but um uh yeah that's so that's being implemented in the the full version of project 401 um not uh wasn't wasn't in the demo there's there's a few um uh issues with the way the lighting is is done that uh makes it very difficult uh for that to look good so um that would have been too big of a job so we we uh, uh we're saving it for project 401 that's right so yeah 401 will have project 401 will have quite 
uh, quite a lot. Um, in fact, <laughs> if you are <clears throat> if you are in the Columbus area, you can see this exact telephone stand in the uh, artifact exhibit. Um, and I saw it for the first time, and I was able to take pictures, like very close up pictures of it to for us to make a, a more accurate uh, one of these because it's it's very basic, this model. Um, and there we saw some details on it. Um, it looks like there's a when it opens, there's a chain that you can hook to the side. So the the door of the, the box stays open, um, which is just cool. You know, it's it's cool to see stuff like that and be like, oh, wow, I didn't know that there was a chain on that. And so we'll have to we'll have to add that. Um, and as uh, you know, I can I can hear some some viewers uh, rolling their eyes, uh, you know, what there's, there's this, uh, idea that we keep starting over. And, and I know we, we have started, started things over quite, quite a few times, but that's just like a, a little micro example of, you know, there's always new information. And our, our goal with this, um, uh, with our projects is not to a uh, THG in particular, um, our goal is is not necessarily to um, release a fun video game. Um, that's not the goal um, of the project. I know it, it was like twelve years ago, um, but this has become um, Titanic Honor and Glory has become so much more than a, a fun video game. Um, we have to go back down to go through more of third class. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I've got something. Here, like here's a, a, a stop. If you want to stop there, James. Yep. Um, actually, walk back up the stairs a little bit. Get some some bright outdoor. Yeah, that's a good. Just stop there. Okay. Um, I want play with the change the um, lighting and contrast setting. Actually, go go into the the um, general room for that, and turn around once you're in the room. Face face the wind get some of the the windows in, in the view here okay yeah is this good that's, that's yeah that's yeah right there okay oh or like okay yeah that's good perfect perfect, perfect. all right yeah, we got right some there. light coming in <clears throat> i will finish my my topic on <laughs> what we're what we're doing here when so we finish display, this so we'll, yeah display lighting contrast. lighting contrast so i can turn it up to high which i think i prefer and then do I have to apply anything or I'm good? Nope. No. Yeah. So it's like a little brighter coming out of the windows. So it's harder to see out of them uh, is the idea, right? Yeah. Now try, um, try low. Uh... Uh, it's, you, yeah, you, it's, it's, <laughs> It's a little. I guess it's a little hard just to see the difference. Yeah, but, we'll find a. Um, we can probably find a better spot. Um, yeah, yeah. Step back. Just look out of the window. The door there. Yeah. Don't go too close. Is that good? Try that. Yep. All just right, switch cool. it back to high. No. Yeah. Uh, lighting All the way to high. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it's it's people. it's it looks a little. Uh, you can set, you can tell you can even see it when you change the. Yeah, it changes right away in the in the the menu there. Yeah, yeah, I can. I, I'm sure you can see it on the screen, but it, it goes, it gets brighter, and and I like it on high. I'm gonna put it back to standard. Leave it on standard. Yeah, there's a exposure uh, offset setting as well. If you just want to make the whole thing brighter or darker. Oh sure, okay, um, that's cool. And you know, some people might prefer you know if. If you just think the whole demo is too bright, you can oh yeah make the that, whole demo really dark. This is quite significant. So, um, or you know, if, if you're having a hard time seeing in the coal bunkers, for example, you can just oh that's nice, yeah, because we yeah. didn't. It's not like we added light bulbs in there. You know, you kind of yeah. have to figure it out. Um, I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a big motion blur fan, but I, we won't do that because I know it makes people sick. Um, cool. All right, heading back down. Um, so yeah, we, um, we, we, we tend to frustrate people who are still expecting, um, a, 
you know, fun video game. Um, I even just, I saw someone in the, um, uh, <clears throat> saw somebody in the, in the chat, um, ask for a survival mode. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. We, while wow, 10 years ago, oh my gosh, <clears throat> sorry, folks, 10 years ago, we had these plans, you know, our, our previous vision for the game, our previous director had plans for um, something more along those lines. And we've long since abandoned that um, three, four years ago now. Um, our goal, um, our goal with this, with Project 401 is to give our fans something that they've been waiting a long time for, which is a, a video game, a, a, a virtual product. We're taking the work that we've made over the last 10 years that was funded by many of you. And we are, I mean, we've already given it to you for free on the demo, but when we add features for it to give you like a, a proper, like virtual museum type experience um, with layers of fun. I mean, like, for example, this demo is, it's just a demo, but there's potatoes to find, you know, we, we like to add a little bit of fun as well, but it's more centered on the ship. It's more focused on, on just the beauty of the ship. Um, with Titanic Honor and Glory, you know, people can get frustrated that it's not uh, finished that, you know, like that telephone um, model I talked about that, um, you know, why would you start that telephone model over? It's good enough. And sometimes I feel that way as as uh, Derek and, and Matt and Kyle um, are aware, I tend to uh, we're in the turbine room, by the way, you can go a little ways, a little ways down here to take a look at the turbine room. You um, could show a photo that would illustrate our point very well. Um, sure. Uh, which which photo are you talking about? Um, one of the it. recent uh, models that I just finished. Oh, perfect. Project for a while. Yeah. Um, send me send me whatever you you can, and I'll I'll share it. Um, but I uh, but to to finish that thought, um, th and we'll we'll illustrate it um, uh, with. Uh, um, with these images, but, uh, you, I, I've often been the kind of person to say like, look, you guys, I know you want to redo this model. Um, but it's, you know, to me, a, a, a non video game, like I, I love video games and everything, but I'm not a video game. Uh, I don't make them. Um, I'm just the creative director. I think it looks fine. And, uh, so I, I understand that frustration sometimes, but the goal of this project is so much more than to make a video game and certainly so much more to make some sort of survival like video game. This is going to be the most incredible record of turn of the century maritime architecture ever. Um, it, it's going to be a, an incredible experience for the Titanic community. And we know that it, it shrinks the audience slightly. If you, if you, you know, I know a lot of people want a survival mode. And in fact, if we made a survival mode, I can almost guarantee that we would sell 500% more copies of this project, but that's not our, that's not our goal. And, and that's the thing that always, you know, another people, another group gets frustrated of the, that we, we do this for money, but we, you know, uh, I, I volunteer my time. I don't make money from THG these days. Um, and our goal is not to make a a game that uh, makes unbelievable amounts of money with a survival mode and and um, you know lets you drive the ship that lets you do all this stuff. We are we are trying to um, recreate a, a moment in history that um, that is arguably the most famous moment in history. I think it's the greatest story of all time. Um, and that's why I've devoted my life to it. And a lot of us have devoted our lives to it. So, so yes, I understand, we understand the frustration about stuff like that, but, um, to make these experiences, uh, accurate. And if, if RMS Titanic incorporated lets us, uh, look through their, um, artifact, um, uh, lets us, uh, go through our artifact, uh, collection that they have. Um, and I've I've seen some of it, and we're gonna keep looking through it. If we find something, we're in the uh, engineers' mess, by the way. If we find something like the they they happen to have a, a, an artifact in this room, and we can we can make it more accurate, we're going to do that, um, and we're gonna uh, have a, a whole lot of fun doing it. And uh, that is that. All right, so uh, we're gonna 
I'm going to show some images here. Let me let me go get some show you something pretty so you can look at it while I set this up. Um, let's go through this shortcut. This staircase goes up to the engineer's promenade, so you can kind of jump up to the boat deck, which is pretty cool. Again, we don't have the the staircase um, because I, I bet those things uh, don't line up. Okay, let me show you this beautiful view while I um, while I uh, try to share my screen and download some of these pictures that uh, Derek just sent me. Um, oh, nice. Um, and keep your questions coming in the chat. Um, we will probably stream. What's how long have we been streaming for? We've got 20 more minutes and then we're going to end it. We've done second class and third class. So I think I will save first and crew for our, our part two um, with Mike Brady, which we're doing on the ninth. You should. Um, did you stop by the Marconi room and the bridge? Uh, no, I have not. Okay. I can. I would, is there a, a, a good reason to? Um, there's, not, there's always a good reason. No, it's just it's just nice. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you and you redid some lighting in there, did you not? Or is that for um, the project? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was for something else. Cool. Yeah, and project four one, um, yeah, etc. Cetera. Et cetera. So yeah. much to talk about in in the coming days, everybody. All right, so I'm I'm downloading some pictures, and Derek is going to tell us what we're looking at. Yeah. Um, okay. Which picture should I show first? The one that you sent first, or does it not matter? Um, do the uh, not the close up. Okay. So here is an image. It is on screen, Derek. Okay. So tell as James was this. saying, um, you know. If there is something we can do to to recreate the ship in a more accurate fashion, we're gonna do it. Cause, damn it, we like Titanic. And uh, the, here's a good example of it. Um, one of our modelers has has uh, sculpted this light, and uh, another one of our modelers has made the light bulb. And uh, I did all the the material work in in, in engine for it. Um, this is a standard light that exists um, all over the ship in literally th probably thousands of these. Um, and uh, the model we had before, um, you'll have to find one in, in the demo in a minute. But Sure. Um, uh, this is just so far beyond what we had before um, that, uh, yeah, it's just gorgeous. So it we're crazy because it literally has filaments yeah that's um, nuts <laughs> it's absolutely nuts <laughs> i and i know this is just begging the question how many uh titanic honor and glory developers does it take to screw in a light bulb but um but apparently three um <laughs> but no it's it is uh astounding how incredible that looks um and so we're, we're back on the ship. Um, yeah, I'll go find uh, uh, one of those light bulbs right now. Um, let's head back down to, where did that uh, door Wrong door. Wrong, wrong door, door, this one? This one? Wrong oh, it's door. this uh, this one over here. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it, this is the sort of thing that's super important to us. It's it's partly to see how, how accurate can you make something. It's like a little experiment. But it's also we're really pushing the the um the capabilities of unreal engine really pushing the capabilities of video games like this is it's a it's a really special experience that we are having and our patrons which you can become one by scanning the qr code our patrons love what we are doing um i we are aware that um this is very much not in line with what was being worked on or what was being you know promised back in 2010 2011 you know 10 something years ago um that this is this is quite the departure from that sort of thing look at the lighting in this room jesus um quite the departure from from all of that um and the reason we 
we departed from that is because I would I would just say flat out that that whole vision was just not it just didn't happen. It's a it, I would I would say that it it failed. You know, like it it, it was unsuccessful, and we could have either canceled all of this um, back in 2021, or we could have picked up the pieces and did our best with it. And I think we've done more than that. Um, I mean, the fact that right now, if you're an officer on our Patreon, um, you can explore 50% of the ship and it looks spectacular. And here's a light bulb. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it, oh yeah, there you go. There's, <laughs> Look at that. there's the old light bulb. <laughs> I, w- I was, I was anybody want this one? <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was actually not expecting it to look this bad. I, cause I've, I've not like thought to look so closely and that's part of my thing. When I, when I talk to these guys about this, if somebody says, Hey, we really want to remake these light bulbs. And I go, yeah, it looks terrible if you look really close, but it's just a light bulb. We don't, you don't have to look at it necessarily, but then you see what they do with, let's see, I can literally recreate this shot a little bit. How funny. Um, boom. Uh, quite a difference um, in the uh, in the quality. Um, just pretty great. So we we very much enjoy pushing the boundaries of of what we're capable of. Um, and what better place to do that than aboard Titanic, which is something that people are already so fascinated by. So we're just adding so much value to this. Um, um, that's a crew space technically. So we're yeah. not going to go. And, and like that light bulb, um, the, the goal is to have it in project Four one, um, as objects are being worked on for it. No. So that, that is for THG. That's going to be the, the Oh, that's a huge thing that to mention. Yeah. yeah. Everything that we're doing for project 401, like making those light bulbs, that's not for just this, that is for nope. Titanic honor and glory. Yeah. And since it's done, we're going to put it into this also, just so it's in both. Um, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so we're, yeah. We're, so like uh, most of the models in project 401 are going to be the same models because we, we're not, you know, we're not going to we're not going to rebuild the entire ship for project 401 that would be absolutely ludicrous yeah um take forever uh but like things like lights and and there's a whole bunch of models that essentially we're going through spaces and we're saying what models are everywhere and and easy to recreate yeah um and so anything that's meets that criteria which a lot of light fixtures um, like th- we have uh, one of our volunteers, um, Donald, is has been working on these these metal light fixtures that are you see in right in front of you on stream right now. Oh, uh, sorry. on the ceiling. On the oh, ceiling. the with the gate with the little grate. Yeah, on. and so it's gonna those are gonna be completely uh, done up as well in Project Four One. Um, now I just noticed that that one doesn't meet the yeah it doesn't the the. Uh, conduit go into it um anyhow uh <laughs> so um oh here's a yeah, great so the, new oh, reflection a, yeah, that you worked yeah. on it looks i think they look especially good in the just like reflected material like glass and like not necessarily you know the mirrors look great but it's very very effective to see them um on something like this it looks yeah. unreal yeah so yeah um so that's uh with yeah with the light i mean that's uh, again um it's being done for thg um right there we kind of have a pretty strict rule right now um for priority sake um that we aren't we are not allowed to work on anything that isn't you know oh there goes my camera again we're we do not work for anything um if unless it's going to be a thg it's going to uh, help THG, you know, it's going to make, uh, it's going to go towards that. Um, you know, we have a, a whole bunch of models um, that have been worked on, not just this light bulb. Um, <laughs> there is, there's a, a whole collection of models that have been updated over the last few months um, that we're going to start putting in here. And we already have put in here, uh, but nothing, 
nothing that's in the demo, right? Like this is still no, uh, no, yeah, because, right. uh, yeah the, the the demo, um, like, um, I I don't I don't I want to say this like I'm trying to brag or anything, but I'm the only person that works on the demo, right? Um, we were we. We didn't want to take anybody's time. Anybody who's actually working on THG, we did not want to take their time away from the demo. And, away from uh, or Sorry, away from THG to work on the demo. Right. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, I, I so I, I, there's a very limited amount of, of time that one person has to put into this demo. So uh, we, we haven't. We haven't been replacing models. We haven't been doing that. This is the same, the same demo that, the same objects in this demo that you played uh, a year ago from from version two point um, It's just polished in many other ways. Yeah, um, and so uh, and I, I saw somebody in the chat said that if if people don't know the difference between THG and Project Four One at this point, I mean we we could do a, a we're working on a new website right now to um, replace our current website to kind of maybe better um, explain things, um, but it is uh, we're saving that. Go back to second class. Um, but it's uh but yeah we we're we're working super hard every day i mean i i spend a vast majority of my time working on these projects or working on stuff for rms titanic incorporated um regarding our projects um and so we have uh yeah we have an incredible team that's working very hard and and we want to expand our team and we want um to have more volunteers and um it's a, it's a, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. And, uh, and so this demo is just our newest, um, product of that. Uh, uh and we hope you guys are going to enjoy it when it comes out in, uh, five days on the 11th in honor of the transatlantic voyage beginning. Um, we have about eight minutes left. Derek, do you have anything else you want to say about the demo or about, did we not touch on something? Do we? Do you want to see some stained glass real quick and just? Oh yeah, we need to see some yeah. stained glass. Let's go. Let's go to first class real quick. Um, I was going to save first class for. Yeah, keep your questions coming. I think. Yeah, we keep questions for... coming. I want to. We'll do some. We'll do a little Q and A here, and. Um, um, uh, and and for people who remember, uh, so first class. Well, I guess this was the let's let's jump inside before I I get cocky. Um, let's head in here. Do, 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 do. Second class main stairway. Here we go. Now, one other fun thing to point out uh, yeah. that I think a lot of people will appreciate is that in general, um, the load time should be quicker. That's exactly what I was about to say. I was like, uh, I'm not going to get cocky until it happens. But yeah, the, the no question the the loading times have been have become quicker because I that was the quickest that first class has ever loaded on my computer. Um, and the you know, everything in here just works so well. The lounge is super smooth. I think that the best place is probably the reception saloon. Oh, really? OK. Yeah. I was going to go. I mean, to, it's nice everywhere, even yeah. here in the lounge. The stained glass is nice. But... I was going to go to the first class smoking room because that's my where I assumed would be the best uh, stuff. Sorry that I'm running past everything. You'll have to tune in <laughs> on the ninth with uh, me and Mike Brady when we explore. All right, we're down here. The candelabra looks incredible. All right, let's go over here by the musicians area. Okay, so tell us about the stained glass and then we'll have a little Q&A. Look at that. Um, well, I, yeah, That's I mean, unreal. I've completely reworked these, um, from, from scratch actually several times, but, um, <laughs> the tricky thing about, um, transparency it, it, and, and unreal, uh, uh, you should go check out the ones in the, in the saloon on the, uh, other side of the ship. Yeah. Can't go, um, can't go that way. <laughs> if somebody remembers, just stop here. Um, the previous version of the demo, uh, 
he got far away from the stained glass, it actually became very transparent. Mm. Um, and now it actually behaves correctly where, you know, it's, it's, it's mostly opaque. Um, the tricky thing about uh, stained glass is that um, Unreal doesn't, it's, doesn't do transparency and details like very well. Um, and so you kind of, kind of have to choose between, um, between them. Um, so I've had to like tweak this a lot of times. Um, James, if you could head forward. Sure. Um, there's, uh, so I, I, I created a new material. It's actually multi-layered. Um, I think these are the best windows to wow. show them off. Look at that. Um, if you go up to that open window, just look at it like from the front. Oh man. So, so there's actually like two layers of glass there. You could sort of see the prisms from the front. Um, that is and unbelievable. Then, so that there's the there's an actual front layer, and then there's a, a prism layer behind that refracts the uh, refracts the light and bends it. Um, and then from the rear, it just looks mostly like like prisms. So that's iconic. <laughs> that is so incredible this whole little alcove here the way the light spills in i love i love the um sunny sunny day no lights on inside vibe how the light like bleeds oh yeah i think we turned it's off so one good. row of lights i think yeah so the center's lit which yeah. would you know make sense on a historical point of view because these uh these rooms you know electricity back in the day was pretty warm um, and these rooms would heat up, and apparently this room in particular would heat up. It didn't have very good ventilation. It was one of the complaints from Leonard Piskett, Peskett, uh, of uh, Cunard Line. He he boarded Olympic and had dinner in this room, and he was like, it is way too hot. They should have had a, a skylight or something like Cunard does. Um, and so to try not to have the light on, the, the, lights on would be best but the center would just be too dark so this would be like this is a good pretty uh feasible layout for that sort of thing um okay amazing let's um i'll, I'll give you something nice to look at oh, but then like look at the difference in this room with all the lights on derek this is like artistry man i'm i'm absolutely dumbfounded okay let's let's sit down here I didn't actually sit. I'm just crouching. <laughs> I don't want to give people the yeah. wrong idea that you can sit. Um, okay, let's just look at this and let's let's answer some questions. I saw a question. Um, why is the boat deck still with loading screens? It is literally all loaded all the time, regardless of where we are on it. The, the difference is the thing that you got to keep in mind is the second class promenade of the boat deck is attached to all of the second class interiors. Every single second class space is one level including the second class boat deck. Um, meanwhile, first class is attached to the first class promenade on a deck, which is super huge. And then the, uh, the engineers promenade between them, it acts, it switches it depending on which uh, level you're yeah, coming Yeah, If from. you're in first class, you can get into the engineers promenade from first class. If you're in second class, you can get into the promenade from uh, second class. Yeah. So you don't so, need to load both times. Um, yeah. and so because of that, there needs to be a loading screen somewhere. Um, you, we can't, we can't take all of second class and the first class boat deck and first class a deck promenade and put that all in one level, your computer would explode. So there needs to be a loading point somewhere. And we did have these discussions early on, which was a, a yeah. lot of fun is do you put the loading point where it is right now between classes? Or do we put the second class uh, promenade and make it part of the first class promenade on the boat deck and a deck? And now the loading point is to go inside the second class uh, stairwell. And for me personally, coming from a creative standpoint, which is my job, um, I would prefer that you as the player can feel like a second class passenger and go wherever you want in second class. If you want to go into first class, you there's a loading point. So there's a little bit of a restriction where literal 
there was literally a restriction from classes. Like, I, th I think that's really cool. And if I, if I, I want, I, I wouldn't mind a loading point at every place that you have to change classes, but like, you know, obviously we don't want to, there's not so many, we want there to be yeah. as few as possible. So, um, so second class is all one level. Third class is all one level. First class is just so big and so detailed that there, is, but first class is like pretty much it's the exterior first class level and the interior yeah, first class yeah. level. And that, and that's, um, that one it's, it's for a different reason because you, you know, it is all loaded, you know, for all the first class exterior is loaded while the interior is loaded because you can see out the window. Um, but that is done that way, uh, because, uh, of reflection captures um, there's no way because the exterior walls of the ship are irregular like especially around the, the lounge and the reading and writing room um, you cannot cover that um, accurately with reflection captures on both sides so if you were outside you would have an in inside reflection capture leaking out and an outside reflection capture leaking in and so uh, it had to be split so um and then also to sort of answer that question on another way um the the level needs to be like the boat deck it's all visible because you can see it um but beyond you know if if you were able to just go into that boat deck you wouldn't be able to go very far without seeing missing things because it's all derek did an incredible job of of laying things out so you know it's complicated if you're on the boat deck of uh, in first class, you can see a crew promenade, a second class promenade. You can see a kind of see a third class promenade if you can see the poop deck from the boat deck, which you probably can. You can see the officer's promenade. You can see um, into the windows of first class. You can also see into the windows under the floor into first class uh, through those like uh, clear story windows uh, above the uh, of the raised roof. There's just so there's so many places that you can see, and Derek has been very careful to make sure that the right things load at the right time. So you're not on the boat deck, and the Turkish bath isn't loaded, which would make no sense because you can't see it. You know, so it's 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 very cool. Um, another question uh, for Project 401: Will Titanic be docked or at sea? For Project 401, Titanic will be at sea. We have no pr plans at the moment to make Southampton to make. Belfast to make this stuff for, for Project 401. Um, in, in our opinion, part of the reason our project, uh, you know, sort of failed the first time through um, was overcomplicating by adding Southampton, Queenstown, Cherbourg. Like um, somebody did a, a video about us and they pointed out that the, the, the selection of Southampton that we were going, you know, we're planning on making was like the equivalent to some massive like grand theft auto sized maps you know like in terms of how much detail there would need to be like just way too overcomplicated. so um the current the current goal is just to do titanic for now let's just let's worry about that um uh let's see what other what what questions that do you see um um, I see that we, uh, we answered something apparently. Um, so I guess we don't need to answer that. I, I don't know who's, who's answering back at home, but, um, um, professor pine says, I'll be happy no matter what you guys are doing a great job. The world needs something like, like this. It makes history come alive for new generations, even without a survival mode. Appreciate that professor. That's very nice of you. Um, yeah, we believe that pretty wholeheartedly. We believe that, um, this is so much more important than uh, being a video game. Um, we don't even really like to call it a video game anymore. It's a virtual museum because there's there. And someone asked in the chat, um, will there be objectives? You know, uh, there won't be objectives necessarily like you, won't, but the, the style of this game will be um, a, a, an explorable virtual museum. So littered throughout the ship will be hundreds of things from voiceovers to uh, survivor testimony to um, photographs, real photographs taken aboard Titanic to passenger lists to actual artifacts taken from the ocean floor. Like there will be things all over the ship and you'll have a logbook to keep track of what you've collected, what you've found, what you've learned. 
Um, and you will learn Titanic's story in the most incredibly immersive way possible. Um, is if maybe that's an objective to you, you know, collect all the things. Sure. Um, I'm sure we will get um, criticized from a video game, a video gamers perspective that it'll be a walking simulator or a, a collect-a-thon and that's it. And we don't mind. Um, one of my favorite games of all time is uh, everybody, everybody's everybody gone to the rapture, which was the first game that people started calling a walking simulator. And um, people called it that like uh, in a negative way. And the creators of the game were like, oh, that's great. That's what we should call our genre of video games. <laughs> and so that's now you can look up walking simulator on Steam and you can find a whole selection of games that are more about the experience, uh, more about the exploration and finding things but it's it's a, at the end of the day you're you're just walking around um and that's that's what we're kind of doing here it'll be much more interesting than most walking simulators because you're walking on one of the most unbelievably incredible ships in, uh, of all time and it is the most beautiful like i've never seen a walking simulator that looks this good that's the other thing like the i mean come on this is the most beautiful video game i've ever seen and i can say that because i didn't make this Derek did this and and Kyle and Matt and and all our our uh, modelers and everybody. It's absolutely incredible. Um, all right. I uh, saw a question yeah, go ahead. about um, uh, when will night lighting mode return? Yes. Um, it's coming in Project 4.1. So um, the demo is is day only. Um, it's you know, we 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 figured it. it would would have taken too much time to to try and get this out um you know in the time we had to to get a night mode as well um and it's oh you know it's it's uh it's going to be in project for one um along with a um sunset boat as well so you'll be able to explore the ship from three different perspectives yeah that's going to be really special and what's fun you guys something to keep in mind when like, yes, Derek is going to make a night mode and a sunset mode. And so the lighting will be different, but there will also be little differences around the ship as well. You know, we'll have like in this mode, for example, you saw in third class, the hatch covers are off in the night mode. They might be back on, you know, because it's cold out or whatever, um, you know, yeah. in in so so we'll, we'll, we can mess with the environment a little bit and tell a different story depending on what time of day it is and, and what uh, and whether it's sunset or, or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, we want we want to have some fun with it because I mean, in the demo, um, everything that we can you can explore in the demo, um, we wanted it to be fully visible in all its glory. Um, but in project for one um for example at night we might um we might pl explore the idea of of turning lights off in certain places right um to sort of give that feeling the experience um where you know if you want to see a certain space you could sort of see it at night but you know you, if you it's closed you know this is after everyone's gone to bed um and so uh not everything will be all lit up and bright um, and you know, you may have to go to a different time of day to actually fully right. explore that space. Yeah. One thing I'm actually thinking about, like in real time as we do this is, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, uh, that's an interesting issue because what I would like for the night mode to be, I'd like for it to be like 1139 PM. Like I want it to be right before the ship hits the iceberg. So you can, uh, explore the ship and, and kind of get that, that late night feeling. Um, so yeah, at that point in the night, most public rooms would be closed. Um, uh, the, the lounge would be empty, you know, completely, um, pitch black and, and, um, you know, at this moment, this room would be lit up because the stewards were apparently setting the tables for dinner or for, or, sorry, for breakfast the following morning. Um, so there are discussions to be had about that because we also want to give, we, we also want you to be able to see like what, what did the lounge feel like at night when it was open also. So we'll have some talks about it. Yeah. For um, sure. seeing, uh, a lot of uh, other questions about, and, and I appreciate everyone's, everyone's being very kind in the comments, which I like, um, you know, 
just asking like, oh, I just want to know, like, uh, you know, it's it's very sweet. I appreciate it. Um, I saw another question. I do want to uh, um, uh, address again. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Um, uh, about VR support. Um, yeah, I'll keep walking uh, around. Project 401, yeah, Project 401 is, it, it is planned to have uh, built-in VR support. Um, I believe that, I, I haven't tested the VR mod, but I believe it does work in this uh it just may not be as optimized um for vr so um yeah your mileage may vary yeah, um proceed with probably caution. i believe i've heard that it does work um so you'll just have to see um but uh uh yeah project 401 is it is planned for us to have a a full vr mode um and in completely unrelated news um check out our announcement on april 10th we have a big announcement wink, wink. completely unrelated uh to what Derek was just saying um but I, I saw people asking would we ever consider um uh would we ever consider adding in some of those features that um we've cut uh since the previous um generation of thg uh, uh, and whatnot um, you know, all ideas are always on the table, but um, at, at our focus and the way that we keep ourselves sane and the way we keep ourselves sort of um, responsible and and, um, uh, and we're, we're very strict about it is is that we're we're just trying to do Titanic right now, where we have uh, enough plates spinning at once. But yes, if if we finish Project Four One and you guys just love it and it's out there and it's great. Um, I think we're pretty confident that once this is out, we will not like, uh, aside from bugs and stuff, I, I don't think we plan on expanding it beyond that point because no. the, the real point of this project was, you know, here we are working on Titanic honor and glory. It's always an ongoing pro uh, project and, and it's, and it's something we will, I mean, I, I feel like Kyle, we will be working on titanic honor and glory for the rest of his life i just think he'll always update it and and, and improve it um of course you know we want to re start releasing it to you while he does it so you don't have to wait for his whole lifetime but in the meantime while he works on this um let's give you guys the product that we have so far and so once that's out it's just kind of all hands on deck on thg now once thg is you know once we are happy with that um you know, there, there's a, who knows what we would want to do with it. Um, the whole point of making it the way that Kyle is making it with the structure, um, uh, like the steel structure and what is, is we can do anything we want with it is, is, is what's really cool about it. Um, yeah. You know, the THG can focus. And what I'd like to do is when it, when it first starts, when we first roll it out to you all, is that it's, it's mostly a, um, you know, construction based project, uh, uh, experience where you're you're experiencing the story of the construction of the ship um you know you, the first time you play titanic honor and glory it might not be at sea for quite a while because we're we're in the shipyard and we're we're doing some historic stuff much like project 401 but shipyard based stuff um, which would be really really cool um but uh, but we can do that because of what kyle's doing and we can put her to sea and we can talk about sinkings and you know, we, we can do so much more with her. Meanwhile, the way this was built, for example, we can do one thing with it and it's this, you know, um, it's not a very versatile set of models because uh, it was built over the last 10 years and we've learned a lot. Um, all right, a couple more questions and then we're gonna wrap this up. Um, we got a, a super chat. Did you oh, did we? I gotta, I gotta go. Okay, here's what I gotta do. I gotta stop looking at my computer chat. I gotta pull up this chat um super chat from heavenly dream music greetings from poland your work exceeds all imagination you bring the titanic to life in every dimension of the word as jack said promise you'll never give up <laughs> that's a great that's a great super chat thank you very much yes we promise we will never give up that's that's right that's really good love that um Yes. Amazing. So, okay. Uh, keep your questions coming in. I'll do a little recap and then we will, 
if, if Derek sees any other questions we can answer. Um, we do love answering questions. Um, uh, here's a good question. I'll put it on screen, actually. Bowling fan 333. Um, would exploring unfinished decks be a possibility? It had been mentioned in the past. I'd love to do that. I'd love to, um, you know, as, as we're building, as Kyle's building Titanic, it'd be really fun to let you explore the ship while it's not, you know, fully uh, done up with all the joinery and all the paint and floor tiles, like just bare steel. Um, I think when people... Uh, I think when people explore that for the first time, a lot of people will, will fully understand, uh, oh, wow, Titanic is so much steel because all I'm looking at is steel and it already looks so much like Titanic, you know? Um, I mean, even just look at this. Um, this whole staircase that we're looking at right now, this is all steel. It's just hidden behind wood. Like this yeah. pillar, that pillar has a metal beam that it's the same metal beam that i guess a stanchion i think is what it's called um it's the same same thing that you would see in the third class general room but in the third class general room they just paint it white and it's done but here it's you know absolutely gorgeous and these this is a this is a beam right here holding up the ceiling that goes through um through here but it gets the most beautiful treatment possible um and that's why that's why this is all so interesting. Um, yeah, and I, I just wanted to say, like, uh, uh, to answer the question, um, like the TLDR um, of what James just said is yes. Um, for in THG, um, you will, you know, we we THG, you'll be experienced THG as we are building it, and so. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be not everything is going to be perfectly 100 percent finished and pretty and right and 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 all you know complete like we're not going to take uh one fully completed cabin at a time and putting it put it into um thg uh, we'll probably be working over an area so so yeah you'll the goal is for you to be able to explore it um as we as we build it yeah you might you might explore it one day and it's like a steel floor and then one day you go in and all the cabins now have uh a light fixture that it didn't have before and then you explore it again and one of our modelers made a really nice wooden bed frame that's in 50 percent of the cabins and suddenly there's 500 new beds on the ship that sort of thing like we'll we'll kind of uh ebb and flow with it um, we get this question a lot about demos being on, uh, the demo being on a console or the game being on a console. Um, we st pretty strictly so, just developed yeah, for can, PC. Well, I yeah, I that. can answer that. Um, uh, for demos, it's, it's not feasible. It's a lot of costs and time involved to put things onto consoles. Um, it's not out of the question in the future for some of our paid, uh, experiences, but we're starting with PC. Um, anything that gets released, we're not we're not planning on anything other than PC. Um, but you know, it it could happen. You know, we we personally, I we'd like it to, but it's it's not at all a priority. Right. So. It's it's quite a, an endeavor. And, um, and certainly, it'd have to be for a paid product because the the some of the costs are, are they're quite significant. Um, yes, uh, seeing, uh, this is great. Um, someone said, um, Cole says, I didn't even know that the pillars had metal beams encased in wood. That's right. The whole ship is nothing but metal. Um, it's, uh, there we go. Um, the whole ship is nothing but, but pieces of metal, but it's, everything's covered in nice wood for the third, for the first class. Um, James, I have, uh, um, you should check, um, some images from jack if you'd like to oh to show more things yes okay we're gonna show more we, things. we love showing things we do um okay some let me open exclusive sneak peek here. exclusive oh okay let's do it jack um all right answer another question while i download all these things Well, that's fine. We want to want to show off 
these ones specifically no interior um so plans just, for steam we're... release um yes uh so uh not the demo um but project 401 um is will be on steam so um and thg when it comes out eventually is going to be on steam as well so um uh the demo it was for the demo it was the easiest to just keep it um just available on our website um it you know being a, a free experience as well it just just simplified it so um but uh, uh certainly for project 401 and thg uh, we want it to be on steam um yes absolutely okay now i am putting these into the program that I can just upload all of them at the same time, actually. Boom. All right. So folks, um, Jack just sent me a couple of things. First of all, um, Jack joined, oh, camera. Hello again. Uh, Jack joined me for a impromptu live stream yesterday. Um, I wanted to do a test of all this, this setup just to make sure sound worked and all that stuff. So I was just going to play uh, Adventure Out of Time, and um, Jack uh, joined me. And in the middle of playing Adventure Out of Time with Jack, who is our cinematic director, by the way, he makes all of our animations, um, I discovered that he had never played Adventure Out of Time before. So it ended up being a lot of fun. That video is on our, our YouTube of he and I playing um, Adventure Out of Time together. It was very fun. We're going to definitely do a part two and hopefully... Hopefully we'll get the rest of the game done in part two. Um, we're we're not very far through the game, but I think we'll we'll go a little quicker. Um, but Jack just sent me some images, so he's been working on our real time uh, syncing for the year, and so um, he sent me some some uh, shots of uh, the syncing. I'm just going to show you a few. Um, you'll have to tune in on April 14th at nine uh, at nine o'clock. Um, we will be doing a pre, a pre syncing show. And then in, um, uh, in Orlando, we have a live, a live syncing, um, event. Um, but these images look incredible. I'm only going to show you four. Um, but, uh, Jack sent a bunch and I, I picked four that I'm going to show. Um, that one's incredible. Wow, that that, is like yeah, a, that's so dazzling. The, yeah, <laughs> that is unbelievable. It really gives you the 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 feel of of what um, yeah it must have felt like to see that on the ship. Just that yeah, dark absolutely. Night. Um, I'll put the oh, let's take this off the screen. Um, yeah, it is uh, it is really something. I mean, just look at that. Jack is doing some incredible incredible work on. Um, on this and i uh i made uh i i wrote the text for it and we've been working on that and it's been it's been a lot of fun to to perfect and in fact i got to get off the stream now and write two more pieces of text the last two i got to edit two things that didn't line up quite well so um so yeah it's uh, i'll go back to this one because it's so good um, yeah, he's doing incredible work, and we're we're very happy that he's a member of our team. And um, and uh, and yeah, um, let me check the chat one last time, and then we'll we'll wrap this up. Um, uh, Jack says the text is incredible. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, um, a lot of a lot of what we do is inspired by Ken Marshall. We got a, a somebody pointed out that um, one of these looked like a Ken Marshall painting. Um, Ken Marshall is such a great inspiration for all visuals. <laughs> it's always good to do little Ken Marshall shout outs. Um, let's see. Okay. I feel like we've answered. Uh, I'm, I'm not seeing any new, uh, any new questions. Okay, cool. At least none that I can answer quickly. So um, let me, let me get rid of this image get us back to to us here so folks um in fact i can i can get us just the two of us again because we're done for the day um so folks oh and last thing we've got the schedule so we have uh <laughs> get out of there there we go um oh this is perfect now now it's just me um so we have 
Uh, so much coming up yet. Um, we have, uh, so this is today, that's April 6th. Um, tomorrow, I believe we are announcing our special guests for our real-time syncing event. Um, uh, I'm just going to put a little uh, post out there about it um, that uh, I told you guys about it at the beginning of the stream. So you kind of got a little sneak preview. Um, we have uh, a new video coming out on the 8th uh, of Jack uh, that Jack's making of his work. Um, and then we're going to do all of this again on the 9th with Mike Brady of Ocean Liner Designs. He's going to be my guest and we will uh, explore first class and crew spaces. Um, then on the 10th is a new animation. And based on the time, you can kind of guess what the animation is going to be. Um, and then we have a new collaboration announcement that is related to Project 401. If you like Project 401 and you're excited about it and you want to get your hands on it, you should listen to that or you, sh you should keep an eye out for that video that uh, I will be recording this week. Um, very cool development of something some new things that are coming that you're just going to love. It's going to be great. Um, and then we have a new animation that day as well. Based on the time, you can kind of assume what it is. And then the demo comes out. And as a reminder, oh, and I made this, by the way, Derek, you'll think this is funny. Um, oh, wait, I have to edit it. Oh, no. I've ruined everything. Oh, no. Hold on. I just got to change that word. Okay save okay check this out oh <laughs> i made i made this for when we announced that it's out but i forgot to, to uh, so uh, thg officers on patreon now have early access to this demo update so if you are an officer on, on uh, patreon you can go to patreon right now and find the link and download this update again friendly reminder don't just give it to all your friends they can wait five days it's not that big of a deal um, then that gets us into Orlando. We are speaking at a lecture on the 12th. We are, um, doing our live streams, uh, live stream on the 14th into the 15th on the 14th ocean liner designs. Uh, Mike Brady, our friend, Mike Brady is releasing a video. Keep an eye out for that. Um, we're doing an, I'm doing a, a, a social panel in Orlando alongside Raf, the Titanic guy who does um, great videos on Instagram and, and TikTok and whatnot. Um, we're speaking in Orlando. Um, and then on the 18th, I will be releasing a full list of features with like a little description of each with a date next to all of them on when you can expect a video about that feature. Because I'm going to do um, all through the month of May and probably into June, honestly, I will be doing videos about every single feature that will be present in Project 401. And then on the 20th, we're doing a Patreon stream and it's it's for patrons only. And if you are an officer... You definitely want to be there. There is something special for officers happening on that stream. So come to that. And that is in relation to what is being announced on the 10th. So on the 10th, you will find out what is happening on the 20th. And that brings us through to the 26th. We're going to do a THG update, like a specific to Titanic Honor and Glory, the project, not the company. Um, and then we'll do a little recap stream where we'll probably just hang out and ask questions or answer questions. And then throughout the month, just keep an eye out for other things because we didn't put everything we're doing on the schedule. We're doing way too much. <laughs> we we went nuts um, this this month and I, I could not be could not I be happier it. about it. Yeah, it's pretty great. So that uh, that sort of does it for us. Um, I feel like, uh, that's everything we had to say. So, um, thanks for sticking around a little longer than expected. Two and a half hours. My ears hurt from these headphones. It's time to eat something. And then Jack, I will get you those last few bits of text for the, uh, syncing. Um, so he can do his thing and, and it'll be ready by, uh, in a, in a little bit. And then, um, yeah, sound yeah. good. Enjoy the demo, guys. I, yeah, I, enjoy I the demo. My blood, happy sweat and, and tears into it. <laughs> yes, happy exploring. Look at the details. That's what this. That's what this demo update is sort of all about. It's the the new music is like is super helpful. Love having the music. Um, it it's gonna run better. It's gonna play better with less loading points. It's just better in general. But look at the details of like the stained glass and and all that. That's where the the magic is in this in this update. 
Um, the next time we update this, this is something important to say, uh, unless there's some game breaking um, issue, the next yeah. time we update this will be Project 401. Yeah, there's um, so. no, unless there's something we've missed that somehow, you know, our, everyone, we've, this has been extremely thoroughly tested. Um, yeah. There's going to be some things that we've missed. It just, it's just guaranteed to happen. But um, unless there's something really major um, that affects a lot of people, um, this is it for the demo. Like there's, there won't be any more updates for it. So. Yeah. So the next time you play something new, uh, will be Project 401, which, as we said, may have an, an extra space or two, um, and it will have all these features um, that uh, I cannot wait for you to enjoy. Um, but until then, we will see you on the 9th for part two of this. We'll explore the rest of the demo, talk more with uh, Mike Brady, and then hopefully I'll see some of you in Orlando. Um, all right. All right. Uh, thanks for joining us, Derek. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. All right. Bye-bye.